Hello, and welcome to Gallery Works. My name is Kitty Lynn Klisch, and we're in the studio today with two of three sisters. Each one of them has chosen a different path in her art. We have two of the gals here, and we'll be talking about the third one later in the show. I, uh, it's my, my, my very most pleasure to uh, introduce you to um, Therese Randall and Pat Patty Strong. Thank you. I'm so Thank glad you. you could come today. Thank you. Welcome to glad the to show. Be here. Very glad to be here. Good, good. And um, tell me, gals, um, how now you're all three artists, and um, we're talking about your sister, like she's not with us, and that's because she isn't anymore. Um, only in spirit. Only in spirit, yeah. right? Okay. So, uh, but how how did the three of you gals get started in your particular forms of art? Now, Teresa, you Teresa, you are a painter. You work in oil and acrylic. Yes. Patty, you work with fabric. And I also paint. And you oh you also paint yes, too. Oh, oh okay, I didn't realize that. And your sister's name was Sue. 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 Susan, yeah. okay. Uh, what medium did Susan work in? She worked in oils and acrylics and mostly in pencil. Mostly in pencil. Okay. Yes. All right. Yes. And um, now I want to uh, I want to know how did you how did you I mean as girls growing up did you all like while other kids were playing go fish and old maid were the three of you creating well we played go fish and <laughs> old maid too <laughs> okay <laughs> but 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 we had something and I think we all noticed that. Other children couldn't do what we did. I can remember being in kindergarten, and we were all told to make an animal drawing. And I looked at all of them and thought, why don't the other children's animals look like what they're supposed to look like? <laughs> mm -hmm. Because I drew a zebra, and my zebra actually looked like a zebra. Mm -hmm. So we knew from when we were really, really, really young. young. Yes. That you knew that, you, you that had we a gift. had something. Yeah, we had a gift that other people didn't have. Yeah, yeah. And I assume we. I thought, almost till I went to college, that I thought everybody could paint and draw. It's just that they chose not to do it. I didn't mm -hmm. know that they couldn't. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because it's like all of our family, my aunts, my mother, and my father were both very talented, you know, and oh. very artistic. Yes. My grandma did china painting, and they had a ceramic shop, and there was nothing they could not paint. I mean, it okay. was just it was amazing. But growing up around people like that, everybody in our family did that. Right. They were very artistic. So, right. are, are, you're 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 from this area, yes. right? Mm -hmm. And you were born and raised in, yes. in the uh, the Saint Saint Nazian's Manitowoc area. Okay, St. Nazian's mm -hmm. Manitowoc area. Yeah. All right. Um, that that's so interesting because it's something that sounds like it's been passed down generational. Oh, it has. And uh, that I I with that type of being in that type of environment, that would be very inspiring to yes. a young child, especially oh, the really young child when yes. you were really young. Yes. It that was just be, wonderful. It right. was absolutely wonderful. Yeah. And, and we, we were, like our aunts always encouraged us and it's like there's, there's nothing you can't do. Mm -hmm. You know, so when I was little and I would say I wanted to be an artist, you know, people, well, actually when I went to my guidance counselor in high school, I said I wanted to be a painter and she said, what are you gonna paint, houses? <laughs> she had, yeah, a lot of encouragement there. <laughs> so, but it, you know, it wasn't. We didn't. We didn't think that it wasn't possible that we could do what we wanted to do. Hmm. Well, I, I, I think your work, all of you. I mean, your work is spectacular. Thank you. And I'd like to. I'd like to talk about your work. Um, right now, okay. Therese, the uh, the painting that we opened the show with, 
Uh, I believe those are lilies. Tulips. Oh, tulips. Okay. Aren't they amazing? Yes, tulips. Like that. That are like um, a little past. They're just yes. just about peaking. That's exactly what was happening. Right. Yeah. And and that's gorgeous. And your use of color. Um, now, did, are these tulips from your garden? I actually went to the meat market in, in St. Cloud, and the woman there knows I'm an artist, and she said, you have to go over to my house and see my tulips. <laughs> and it was right after a rainstorm, and it was still gray, and, and the wind was moving them around, and oh, I thought, yeah. oh, they're so beautiful, and I took a bunch of photographs, and I went home, and the photograph says, I have to do a painting of this. Sure. So sure. that's how that happened. Yeah, and you can, and I, I see what you mean about, uh, you know, a windstorm and rain and everything, because that's the way they look. They look like they've been, you know, disturbed. Abused and, a little bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, 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 but there's, but it creates a movement yeah. and an energy in the yes. painting. Um, you know, they don't, it, it, it's just beautiful. And, and the other thing that strikes me is this gorgeous um, complementary color that you have put in that makes the, the tulips pop. Um, very, you, you very good. You taught me that. I did. You taught me that. Well, thank <laughs> you. <laughs> it's beautiful. That, yeah. that is truly beautiful. I love that painting. Thank you. And, um, Okay, and then we over here, we have an elk, yes, right? Yes, yes. Okay. Um, tell me about that fellow. Um, He's my, really beautiful. My husband uh, and brother and a couple other guys went out to Montana hunting, and I just went along for the experience. I used to hunt. I can't hunt anymore. It's too difficult for me. Is um, it difficult? Why is it difficult? I'm not going to give you the answer. It's, it's hard for me to see something living and then me be the one that stops that. Um, mm -hmm. I, I, my dad used to take me hunting when I was little. Mm -hmm. I was very little and he would take me out. And he taught me what the different plants were and what the different birds were. And I was maybe in first grade and I knew the difference between a white oak and a scarlet oak and a red oak. And, and I was surprised that other people didn't know those things <laughs> because yeah. I had known it for so long. And I'd catch butterflies and, and I mean, he took me pheasant hunting, he took me duck hunting and, and so I was kind of raised with hunting, mm -hmm. but it was, it was just really hard for me to at that, that, go At that point that you realized mm -hmm. how beautiful they are, yes. alive and in yes. motion. Yes, I agree. And then I, I just, I couldn't, I couldn't okay. do it anymore. <laughs> All right. Well, back to this fellow here. Yes. What's the story on him? So we, it was interesting. We were out in Montana. There's a snowstorm. And we were driving into this place where we were supposed to be hunting. And it was just like the Hartford commercial. There was this big elk standing <laughs> on top. That's what I, I, I mean, because I'm visual and I'm sure you know too. <laughs> right. You picture things. I have all these photos and movies in my head. And it's like there was the Hartford commercial. <laughs> And so some guys went this way and some guys went that way and, and he got to have a big elk. <laughs> oh. I, wasn't, I know, it's a, really, it's a really difficult thing. You yeah, know? They're yeah. very excited about doing this, but yeah. now he's alive always. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And um, I, I, you know, don't, don't misunderstand me. I, mm -hmm. I'm not critiquing your paintings, yes. but I, I just, you were my student once and, right. and I just need to reinforce and point out to you the really strong composition here. Therese, you really nailed that, uh, that composition. Thank you. I, I, I love it. I mean, it's so strong. You give us just enough information yeah. that we can feel the moment, mm -hmm. and yet, you know, there's still things about it that we don't know. And I, I really like that. That's Thank a very you. beautiful you. painting. I, I won the Robert Hoyle Award with that painting. Oh, good so, for you, girl. I know. I was like, I don't get it. Why it was that so? I mean, for him to get, I mean, I, I, was, just, I, was, I was just so surprised 
I didn't understand what he well, saw. Well, now you know but why. Now I know. <laughs> now I know. <laughs> I yeah. want you to take your mic, honey, and, and make it come up a little bit. It's kind of, yeah, there we go. Okay. There we go. Thank you. Yeah. Because um, I want to make sure you're heard. Okay. All right. And then we have this piece here with the cardinal. Which I just finished. You just finished. Yes. Okay. Oh, I, I forgot to ask you. The, the tulips, are they oil or acrylic? That's acrylic. Acrylic. And the moose? That, or, or the elk, elk, rather? That's oil. That's oil. Yes. Okay. And this one? This is acrylic. Acrylic. Okay. Yes. That is just gorgeous. I, I was so inspired. There was so much milkweed this year, although I didn't see as many monarchs as I usually do. No, I, I only, didn't either. I only found one monarch caterpillar this year. But the milkweed was so fantastic, and the purple asters were amazing. And That's beautiful. And... I, I just, I love this time of year. I just want to stay home and paint at this time of year. Exactly. The color, well, you know, the colors. Yeah, are, yeah exactly. And the yeah. way the light plays in the trees. And well, what's so beautiful about this is this, this vignette feeling that we have because we have the cardinal in beautiful, beautiful detail. And it's obvious that he's the focal area um, in, in the painting, you know. And the things around him are, you know, crisper looking and they're coming forward. And then there's this great sense of distance. I mean, it just looks like you could just go all the way back. And yet you did that without giving us too much detail. And that is the secret to creating space. And, you know, a painting should be like a window. You should be able to look at a painting and feel like you can go inside the painting. And that you, you've captured that feeling there beautifully. Thank you. That's very nicely done. Thank you. I sometimes don't know. We never went to school. Mm -hmm. so you're self-taught I learned by just taking that one class from you mm -hmm. some technical things that I had never been taught sure and sometimes when I'm painting I just have colors laying out and I just well I don't even know sometimes how I know how to do it you know there's a certain point where it becomes intuitive yeah with a painter and I think that I think that's very important to know that to trust your first gut reaction to something. Trust that because the more you muddle with it, you know, yes. and work with it, most likely you're not going to improve it. You're only going to wipe out that bit of genius the way yes. that that, that yes. first stroke yes. put on the canvas. Yes. You know. So we've talked about that many times. I'm like, I just had to touch it one more time and I messed it up. Well there you go. Right. You know if you just yeah. Yeah, exactly. Knowing when to you back know. off is... Yeah. Like with my classes, you know, I tell my students, okay, it's signed and you're going to take it home. If I ever stop by your house and I find that that picture's been touched, you're in trouble, <laughs> you know, because they have a tendency, oh, I can fix this up better. Yeah. And then, you know, and then, I, then they come back to yeah. me, you yeah. know, like a month or two later and they say, Oh, Kitty, I thought I could do it better, and I messed it up, and, and you know, I mean, it's like, <laughs> I know. <laughs> anyway, you know, leave it alone, you know. And, and the older I've gotten, the more I've learned to trust that. Yeah. Where it's like, okay, this is good. Because I thought about doing more to it, and I'm like, no, this is good. Just let it alone. Right, right. It, it almost tells you when it's done. Yes, it That's does. That's what Susie, it does. Susie used to say told. that. That tells picture will tell done. you when it's done. Exactly, Patty. A, a painting will talk to you. Absolutely. It will tell you what you need if you're in tune to it. Absolutely. And it will tell you when you're finished. Exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's really, that's Thank really you. gorgeous. Thank you very much. I it like your work a lot. I love it when, you, when I see your work hanging at Gallery 110 North. And aren't you excited? Yes. But we're having the uh, whole Plymouth Art Center um, remodeled and enlarged, and we're going amazing. to have this fabulous place, fabulous gallery, yes. fabulous classrooms, and, and you could give a class there, Therese. I, people have asked me to do that. I, I don't know. On wildlife. I, yeah. Wildlife painting. I, I don't know how much I could, since I don't know how I can do things. <laughs> 
I don't know how much I could teach people, but I could try it. You ought to. Yeah. Maybe like a beginner's class. Yeah. Because I'll tell you, you'll really learn a lot about yourself mm -hmm. and your own art as a teacher. I know I have over the years. Yeah. I've learned every bit as much from my students as, as they have learned from me. You know, and so that's, uh, it would be a good thing for you, honey. Yeah. It okay. really would be a oh, beginner's man, class. There, yeah. Beginners have no place to start, you know, yeah. and it would be a good, a good idea to think about. Okay. And Patty, we're yes. not ignoring you. Oh, no. Tell us about this quilt, honey. This yes. thing is gorgeous. The quilt is called Trees, and it's basically a root ball. And... Um, those are all strips that are hand-pieced and appliqued, every little one of them on there. And um, it's like my sister trees. Is this my trees? Yeah. It's my trees. Is my trees. <laughs> <laughs> she said that. Because she's, she's such a grower of things. Mm -hmm. I mean, goodness and kindness and Aww. friendship and, and Vibrant. love, and she's just the best. So I said, I made trees for trees. <laughs> Um, and it's basically the same thing I did with, with painting as with the fabric. I never know when I see a piece of fabric, I get inspired and I can see it. I do custom garments and stuff too. And I, I see a piece of fabric and I see it in a finished product. Mm -hmm. And that's like I said, with the, just like with the painting. It, it tells you when it's done. Uh -huh. I always tell them, they go, well, what are you going to do with that? And I go, I don't know, it's just going to start, and it just starts to grow, and I start to get ideas, and then as it gets, as I add on to it, and it gets bigger. Um, I never know how big, some, some of them end up being king size, some of them end up being small. Right. But it tells me when it's done. But they're all signed and numbered. I sign and name and number mm -hmm. each one of them. I have 137. Oh, my. Well, are they for sale? They're all, they're, I've got four left. They're all, they've all been sold. Oh, my gosh, honey. Yeah, they That's just... That's fabulous. Yeah, they sell like... I don't get them done... I don't get them done fast enough. It's like um, just word of mouth in there. I have a local little store that carries my stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, what's the name of the store, honey? It's called um, As You Like It. And it's As part like of it. uh, Kramer Pharmacy in downtown Fond du Lac. Okay. Um, and my children's dresses, I make children's clothing. Oh. Peter yeah. Rabbit dresses and, and custom painting on little Easter dresses and specialty oh, Christmas marvelous. dresses. Oh, marvelous. With little matching hats. Yeah, as you like And stuff like, like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. well, and I do custom children's furniture, too. Sure. For like little children's bedrooms and stuff yeah. like that. Well, that's real. That is really nice. And then she also carries my quilts. So it's nice as I do. I'll do a set of children's furniture, and then make the quilt to match the bed mm -hmm. that matches the furniture. And then, right. and then I'll get called to go in and Very. custom design the room. I can go do the. I do the hand painted borders that match the, match the quilt and stuff. So very, very special. Oh, I have so yeah. much fun. Oh yes. I, as somebody asked me the other day. <clears throat> What do you do for a living? What do you do? Where, where do you work? And I went, I haven't worked a day in my life. <laughs> <laughs> they go, well, what do you mean? I said, honest to God, I have not worked a day in my life. And I swear, it's like, if I had to go tomorrow, I have had the best life and the most fun and have been able to do my art my entire life yeah. and have been able to be content and happy with it. And I just... I just couldn't have a better gift than, than a sister like her and a sister like Sue and, and the kind of gifts that our parents gave us has just been wonderful and meeting people like you and getting to do things like this. I mean, art is such a gift to a community. Yes, yes it is. And, um, you know, such a w wonderful place that it takes you right. about right. yourself, teaches you about yourself. Right. And I about, you know, giving to others and, and just the amount of joy that it brings. I, years ago, um, I had a, 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 um, a, an art instructor who was very famous, and I was just, when I, I took one of her workshops, and when she came to, to me, I couldn't breathe. <laughs> That's how much I admired her. Mm -hmm. I, I, couldn't, I couldn't breathe. And, um, and then she came out with a book, and um, and I went to that lecture, that book signing, and 
and she wrote in my book, Art is a Beautiful Place to Live. Oh, isn't it and just? Wow. I have never forgotten that. Wow. And what you've just said sums that up so beautifully. It is. It is. Really. It's like people come to my home because I'm like a little uh, bohemian. <laughs> I've, been, I've been called a tad gypsy. But my, my house is just my, it's just my, it's like, it's art. It's just like, I have it on the walls, I have it on the ceiling, I have it. In, well, that's, well, that's the way it should be. Oh, it's be. just wonderful. My house is just wonderful. I just, yeah. I, and I just love it. I love well, it. Well, sure, sure. Because you're in your environment. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. That's, that's great. Um, Susie. Susie. Susie, our dear sister. Your dear sister. Yes. And how long has Susie been gone? About three years. Three About years. three years. It was the 4th of July. 4th of July. The 4th of July. Two years ago. Um, without getting too personal, um, may I ask what happened? She was four-wheeling in the mountains in Colorado, and uh, the brakes started going out on the four-wheeler, and they were headed for a deep ravine. And she got scared and she jumped off and she hit her head. Mm -hmm. And, but the, the, the guy who was driving the four-wheeler, um, he tried to stop it and he couldn't. And so the four-wheeler did go over the edge. And when he came back and found her, her two dogs were laying alongside of her. Mm -hmm. And she was gone. And there were three missionaries there praying with her. Mm -hmm. So, uh, just, I, I know she's okay. Mm -hmm. She was a wonderful, generous, super, super funny person. And, uh, very talented. Very, extremely, she was, she was a very, very well-known artist in Colorado. Um, That's where she was from? Yes. Mm -hmm. Colorado. Yes. Uh, she had moved out there probably 25 years ago. Uh, yeah. Had a lot of good friends out there. Uh, she just so generous, mm -hmm. so generous, but very, and, very talented. And what, what type of, of art, did was Susie, uh, inclined to? She loved horses. She mm -hmm. always loved horses. Did she ride? She loved riding. Mm -hmm. In fact, when she was little, and people asked her what she wanted to be when she grew up, she wanted to be a horse or a dog. <laughs> <laughs> That's adorable. <laughs> Uh, this is a portrait of the Budweiser Clydesdales. She, she actually, the Budweiser plant is out near Fort Collins, Colorado. Right. Yeah. So she would go out there by the horses, and she that's, took care of some horses for Anheuser Busch when they had horses that yes. were down. She had a place that. Oh my. She'd keep their Belgians and their Clydesdales for them and take care of them. Oh. Yes. And then she'd paint the big red wagons. Yes. Oh. She also that Anheuser Busch had. You know, I would see those commercials on television, yes. and I always wished that I could have access to that scene <laughs> painted. You know? Yes, yes. And this is, a, this is a portrait of some Arabians that a friend of hers owned. Um, but yeah, she would do decorative, well, originally Susie and I did sign painting in this area. Uh -huh. we, we did all the work for Road America. Really? Um, mm -hmm. We did Got Sucker Realty, uh, one of the liquor stores in Sheboygan. She painted AJ Foyt's and Miriam Andretti's race cars yeah, when they came out here to, for the. She used to do the Formula race cars races at Elkhart. Oh, yeah. my. Yeah. So we, we started out doing some sign painting just because it was a good way to make a living and truck lettering. And we used yeah, to do all right, that. And she right. still did a lot of it out in Colorado, too. Yeah. Um, and then she got this idea about bunnies doing strange things. So, and that was, that was more uh, uh, aimed toward children, just like yes. your uh, right. uh, yes. art uh, is, a lot of it is aimed toward children. But this one was called Angel Hair. It was called the hairline. All of the prints had hair in them. So there They're was rabbits. hair dressing and hair. Oh, okay. And a receding hairline. A receding was hairline. A they were all going backwards. Back so it, to was, each other. it was something, it was yes. something, okay. A little play on words. Yes. Yeah. Hair pulling. There was a grandma rabbit trying to pull her baby into the doctor's office. And what was interesting is she, like the bed that's on that picture, 
was a bed that we had when, when we, we were little. little. Oh. And she would put, like, uh, one of the pictures has a table that our grandpa was a carpenter, and he had made that table. And so that table was in her drawing. Some of the wallpapers that so were in our house. Wallpaper from our grandma Elsie's house when we were real little kids. And then she also the did dogs. <laughs> this is called Librarian. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. <laughs> Isn't that cute? So she's, yeah, she had Sheltie from a storm. It's a Sheltie with a rain umbrella. It, there was uh, Betty Cocker, which was a, a cock Cocker Spaniel mixing a cake with a cookies. Yeah. <laughs> cookies, yeah. And this was retrieving a file. What an imagination. Oh, she, oh, had, she was wild. She was. Oh. Oh, God. I think of all of us, she had the strangest imagination. Well, and, maybe and she, maybe she was, a more a little more to the uh, comical. Oh, you know, no, she, she was, was so funny. funny. Yeah, there was no one funnier than Susie. Oh, so well, I'm sorry yeah, for she, your loss, and I'm uh, and our, the art world. Oh, yeah, she's is, still here. Is, she's still here. Yeah, <laughs> she's yeah. still here. She yes. makes me laugh some days. Well, you know. I think that um, do you, um, that the three of you and the and, and the two the two of you um, are just so fascinating because you're you're so close and the bond between the three of you was so great. Was there much of a difference in your age group? No, it was me age? and then her and then about thirteen a, months apart. Yeah, and thirteen months apart. Oh, okay, we're like, so you were all really close together in age. Yes. And didn't yeah. always get along so good. Didn't always get along so good. No. Mostly because of boys. Mostly because of boys. <laughs> I was like, yeah. Oh, girls, don't even go. Uh, yeah, there. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Stick with the art. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, and and do you have anything in you know in the future that you would like to? Uh, embark on? Are, are you thinking anything of, uh, I mean, any new paintings, anything that you, I mean, we're almost out of time, but I guess what I want to know, Therese, is there, is there anything that you haven't painted yet that you long to paint? Oh, I, I just, I see paintings all the time, so I don't think I have enough time to do all the paintings I want to do. I knew that answer was going to be that. I knew it because that's the same way I oh, am. Sure. Yes. You, were just not... in, you were just in Italy. You, you know. Oh, there's a whole new problem for you. How many paintings did you see there? Oh, I know. I know. I'm just dying you know, to go there. I, I can't believe we're out of time already. This has been such a wonderful, beautiful conversation with two nice. very talented, beautiful women. Thank you. And I appreciate you so much for being on oh, the show thank you today. For having us. Thank Once you very again, much. Therese Randall. And Patty Strong. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Once again, this is Kitty Lynn Klisch with Gallery Works. Don't miss the next show because it'll be another good one. Bye bye for now.